okay, good evening. We are going to learn, continue with the, uh, we are going to learn Electro Multiforce. Continue with the questions which I gave you last week. Okay, the first question is about, um, this is the question, sir. This is our uh, uh, Electro Multiforce question number one. And EMF is 3 volt, R is 1 ohm. R means uh, external resistance, external resistance 1 ohm and internal resistance is 0 0.5 ohm, 0 0.5 ohm, find reading of ammeter, VR voltage loss, voltage loss, okay. First of, first of all, we have to learn reading ammeter, okay. We have to do this question A, E equals to I, R plus R. E equals to I, R plus R. The reading emitter is uh, what you call it, uh, uh, emitter is in the, in the, what you call, is, a, is in the main uh, current part. Okay, so the reading emitter is total current, right? find a total current. So E, E means EMF. EMF is 3 volt. EMF is 3 volt. I R R capital R capital R means external resistance. The internal resistance 0 0.5 ohm. 0 0.5 ohm. So R equals to uh, 1.3 divided by 1.5. So R equals to 2.0 ampere. I equals to 2.0 ampere. Okay. And uh, the V R V R. So the current that is passing through, uh, passing through the emitter is zero per so 2.0 ampere, 2.0 ampere. So E is EMF 3 volt, I is total current, total current is a part, because emitter is the part of total current, the part of total current or in the part of main current flow, okay. So I is uh, 3, uh, what you call it, the I. Uh, R is capital resistance, capital R is uh, external resistance R and uh, internal resistance 0.5, R equals 3 divided by 1.5 and 2.0 ampere. Next question, VR, VR, VR means voltage that is consumed by external resistance, voltage consumed by external resistance. So that is equals to IR. Right? I R. So the I, the current that is uh, flowing to the emitter is uh, 2 ampere. 2 ampere. The current is 2 ampere. So the current is 2 ampere. So the current is passing through 2 ampere. 2 ampere is passing through the R, capital R or external resistance. 2 ampere current. So the I is 2 ampere. And the external resistor is 1 ohm. External resistor is 1 ohm. So VR equals to 2 volt. VR equals to 2 volt. Okay, VR means the voltage consumed by external resistance. Voltage consumed by external resistance. 2 ohm. Huh? And uh, 2 ohm, sorry, 2 ohm. Huh? And uh, voltage consumed by external resistance, 2 ohm. And question C, voltage loss. There's two ways to find the voltage loss. First of all, voltage loss, we, we take the total voltage. Total voltage. Total voltage in open circuit or we call EMF. 3 volt. Total voltage 3 volt. Okay? 3 volt. Total voltage 3 volt uh, minus external resistance. So that is voltage in the internal resistance voltage. Right? So that is uh, E equal to so E minus V R equal to V small r the voltage loss huh? E three volt V R is two volt so voltage loss equals to one volt voltage loss is one volt another way another way of doing this question another way of doing this question. Voltage loss, question number C, voltage loss, the V R, V small r, voltage loss equals to I R, I R, 
So the current that is passing through the internal resistor to NPN is current passing through here, the, the current passing through here. The current passing through 2 ampere is come, come, uh, come out with 2 ampere. So the current that is passing through the internal resistor is 2 ampere. So the current is 2 ampere and external resistance. External resistance is another formula, the formula to find voltage loss. Voltage loss. So external, sorry, uh, sorry, R is a small R is internal resistance. Sorry, sorry. So internal resistance. Internal resistance. So internal resistance to 0 0.5 ohm. So V R equals to 2 times 0 0.5 is uh, 1 volt. So this is this answer. Same. Same answer. So the voltage loss is 1 volt. Voltage loss 1 volt. In other words, voltage loss means voltage consumed by internal resistance. Once voltage consumed by internal resistance to overcome. Okay, to overcome the what do you call it um, the resistance, like internal resistance. So so voltage loss is because of this voltage loss, voltage loss internal resistance, voltage consumed by internal resistance. So, can you understand? Okay, now we are going to do another question. We are going to do another question. Question, question number two. Um, if the world, the reading or emitter. Okay. The question asks you this. If the reading of the emitter is two ampere. Reading of voltmeter is two volt. Fine. Question number one. Question A. Ah, the external resistance. Question B. EMF. EMF of the battery. And question C. Voltage loss. Voltage loss. Okay. If the reading of emitter, if the reading of emitter is uh, two ampere, and the reading of voltmeter is two volt, and the voltmeter is uh, like this, then voltmeter. So, this R equals to 2 divided by 2 is 1 ohm. 
R equals to 1 ohm. The external resistor is 1 ohm. External resistor is 1 ohm. Okay. Next question. The EMF. EMF. Okay. I forgot to give one thing. The, ex uh, the internal resistance. 0 0.5 ohm. 0 0.5 ohm. The internal resistance is 0 0.5 ohm. So external resistance 1, 1 ohm. We found it. We found external resistance 1 ohm. The EMF. Now we have to find EMF. Question B. The EMF is I R plus R. I R plus R. EMF. We have to find EMF. The EMF. I. Uh, we have to find I. I means a reading of the emitter. La. The total current. Total current flow the emitter. So there is a 2 ampere. The external resistance, that's why you found it 1 ohm. The internal resistance I gave just now, 0 0.5. So the EMF equals to uh, 2 1.5. So this one 2 times 1.5 is a 3 volts. 3.0 volts. So the EMF is 3 volts. The EMF is 3 volts. The EMF is 3 volts. Okay, question number C. Voltage loss. Voltage loss as usual, we are I times R. I times R. Voltage loss because the current that is passing to internal resistance 2 ampere. Same as the reading of the emitter. Same as the reading of the emitter. 2 ampere current passing through. So we are equals to I times R. So I is uh, 2 ampere. The uh, internal resistance 0 0.5. So the V R voltage loss. Voltage loss 1 volt. Voltage loss is 1 volt. Voltage loss is 1 volt. Can you understand now? Okay, now we are going to do uh, another question. We are going to do another question. Big tough question now. Okay. This is this question is a bit uh, tough question. And uh, Okay, we are going to do another question. Question number 3. Okay, question number 3. Okay, this is question number three. Question number three. And um, there's a bulk bulk resistance if if the bulk resistance is uh, 2 ohm and internal resistance and the internal resistance equal to 1 ohm this internal resistance is 1 ohm if the bulk Oh, sorry, uh, in the bulk resistance is 2 ohm and the internal resistance is 1 ohm. If the bulk resistance is 2 ohm and the internal resistance is 1 ohm, is the bulk resistance, is the bulk there and the internal resistance is there. Okay, what the question asking you? Find A, find question A. Uh, reading of reading of uh, ambiguous question B EMF question C voltage consumed by by the bulb by the bulb 
is consumed by the bulb. So if the bulb resistance is too low and the internal resistance, internal resistance is battery resistance right? and that is 1 volt by reading of ammeter, EMF and voltage consumed by the bulb. Okay. What is the meaning of uh, what you call uh, Nothing is and uh, if the voltage loss is uh, too if if what if the voltage loss is too if the voltage loss is loss the voltage loss is too old. The reading emitter. The emitter reading. So voltage loss. Voltage loss. So the reading of the emitter, the reading of the emitter is the same as the total current flow through the battery. Flow through the battery. The same current. The same current pass through the battery. The same current is the reading of the emitter. The reading because emitter is the path of total current, is the path of main current flow. So the current that is passing through the uh, battery, the current that is coming out from the battery or going to a negative battery, the same current that is passing through the emitter, the same current that is passing through the emitter. So uh, we have to uh, reading emitter. Question A, reading emitter. We have to voltage loss. Voltage loss is I times R. Voltage loss, Br. Voltage loss. Voltage loss, I times R. What is the voltage loss? Voltage loss is 2 volt. 2 volt. I, we don't know. The internal resistance. The internal resistance is 1 volt. So, voltage, uh, 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 what do you call it? Current is 2 ampere. Current is 2 ampere. Current is a 2 ampere. That current is a reading of a reading of ammeter. That is current that is flowing through the 2 ampere. 2 ampere is flowing through. So 2 ampere current is flowing through the what we call it uh, the, uh, battery as well as the bulb. The 2 ampere current is a flowing through the battery. As well as a uh, as well as meter and the bulb, so the current is two ampere. Okay, this is we are voltage loss. We find the voltage loss I times R formula I times R. Voltage loss formula I times R. Small R. I is reading of meter, or I is total current because the R is internal is voltage loss is voltage loss and internal resistance. So internal resistance of the battery, that is, uh, that is where the current is, total current passing through the battery. That is where the total current passing through the battery. So the I is 2 ampere, the reading of the emitter is uh, 2 ampere. Question B, the EMF of the battery, EMF of the battery, EMF of the battery is, uh, sorry, uh, I R plus R. The EMF, uh, EMF of the battery, total current that is going through the battery or total current that is reading the emitter, uh, 2 ampere. Uh, external resistance, this is the external resistance, the bulb, instead of resistance, the bulb. Same thing, same calculation. Whether it is a bulb or resistor, same calculation. What is the difference? Bulb or resistor? The bulb shows some brightness. If there is current flow through, bulb shows uh, for, uh, if the current passing through the bulb and the bulb brightens up. Bright, bright it up huh? The bulb is brightens up. That's all. Okay? And the resistor, uh, we cannot see the brightness of the bulb. The resistor, you cannot see the brightness. So, the bulb is, you can see the brightness. That's all. That's all. The calculation method is same. Is a resistor, resistor of resistance or resistance of the bulb, same as the 
So, and uh, external resistance. In the bulk, the resistance is 2 ohm. 2 ohm. The ex internal resistance is uh, 0. Point, uh, we point, we point, we point, we point. Ah, the internal resistance is 1 ohm. The internal resistance is 1 ohm. The internal resistance is 1 ohm. External resistance is the bulk resistance 2 ohm. So, 2 times. Uh, uh, 2 times ok, 2 times uh, uh, 3 times 2 6 the EMF is 6 ohm the EMF is 6 ohm ok EMF is 6 ohm ok, question number C voltage consumed by the bulb voltage consumed by the bulb Voltage consumed by the bulb, same as the VR, like let's say we take VR, no? VR. The VR, the voltage, here the voltage here, voltage consumed by the bulb, or the voltage consumed by the resistor, same thing. The voltage, total voltage to battery minus internal resistance, voltage consumed by internal resistance. Total voltage to the battery, total voltage to battery is EMF, minus internal resistor voltage. Internal resistive voltage that is called uh, that is what voltage uh, maximum resistive voltage with bulk load or voltage with bulk load. and uh, VR equals to EMF EMF minus VR. What's EMF? 6 EMF 6 ohm and the internal resistive voltage voltage loss voltage loss voltage by internal resistance voltage loss. same as voltage loss or voltage consumed by internal resistance voltage loss is the same as voltage consumed by internal resistance so that is called uh, voltage loss 2 so the VR 4 ohm so voltage this voltage consumed consumed by bulb Voltage consumed by the bulb. Okay, that's what uh, we're going to voltage consumed by the bulb. No? So we have uh, done the three three questions. We done three questions. We have done three questions, and uh, we're going to learn now today. We're going to learn. Uh, we're going to learn the formula first, and uh, next class we're going to learn uh, some as a small uh, uh, what do you call it uh, electrical energy. Uh, calculation of a TNB uh, calculation or the, what you call calculation by the cost of electricity, a small portion, in a small portion of the syllabus. Okay? And we are going to learn the power, electrical power. Any one of the formula, 
according to the information given in the questions. According to information given in the question, you can use any one of the formula, you get same power. You get same power. But however, however, uh, we are going to learn each formula, sorry, each formula where we going to uh, where we use most, mostly we use the this uh, what do you call it uh, like, like the word uh, uh, we use this this formula where we use most. First formula where we use most. Second formula where we use most. Third formula where we use most. Okay, and um, the first formula to find the efficiency. To find the efficiency. To find efficiency of electrical equipment. To find efficiency of electrical equipment. To find efficiency of electrical equipment. So to find efficiency. Take a chicka part. So to Allah the trickler. And uh, for example, uh, the part, for example, efficiency of fan, efficiency of motor, efficiency of uh, what do you call it, bulb, or efficiency, efficiency, to find efficiency. Okay, I will give the formula later, efficiency formula. To find efficiency of electrical equipment, this formula is used mostly. Uh, we can use this formula uh, to find. Normal, uh, normal power also can, but uh, we use this formula where we use mostly la, where we use mostly to find to find uh, to find to find efficiency of electrical equipment. Second formula. Second formula because resistance involved. Because this is involved, involved to find uh, power loss, to find power loss, power loss, to find power loss. For example, e.g., the cable, electrical cable, electrical cable, electrical cable, the cable that we are seeing outside, huh? outside the road, electrical to find power loss. Yeah, we are going to do some questions about that. We are going to see. Uh, we are going to learn these formulas. We are going to learn uh, in next topic, next topic also. Next topic under electromagnetism. When we learn National Grid Network, towards the end of the topic, National Grid Network, that means uh, the power supply, transmission of electrical supply. That we, that at time we will use this formula to find the power loss. Right? Okay, to find power loss. This electrical, for example, electrical cable. The third formula, third formula, we use this formula when uh, to find when we use this formula when voltage is changed. Voltage is changed. For example. First, first of all, the question the give voltage 240 volt. There's then the change voltage to 120 volt. So we use this formula. When voltage change involved, voltage change involved. The resistor is same, same equipment. Voltage no, uh, voltage change, same equipment, the same equipment. Uh, for example, in the beginning, first of all, uh, the uh, first of all we give the voltage of the equipment 240 volt. Then same equipment voltage change. So the voltage now is under 20 volt. For example, the equipment works under uh, the equipment works uh, under 20 volt. The equipment works under under 20 volt. Okay, that is what we call it. Uh, we call it uh, uh, when voltage loss. When the voltage loss. Okay, when the voltage change. Oh, sorry, sorry. When the voltage change. When the voltage change, then we use this formula. Okay, and uh, we are going to learn efficiency of equipment. Efficiency. Efficiency 
uh, output energy divided by input energy and hundred percent. Output energy divided by input energy. Output energy divided by input energy can hundred percent of the formula efficiency formula. Efficiency output power divided by input power times hundred percent. Output power output power over input power times hundred percent. For output energy over input energy is hundred percent. That's a formula. That's the formula for efficiency. By the way, what the unit for the power? Uh, unit for power is what? 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 Double A T T. What? Or joule per second? Or joule per second? What? Or joule per second? Okay, I would like to give you some homework for you. We are going to meet. meet uh, we are going to meet next class. Uh, maybe this week. Maybe Thursday or, or maybe I will I will give a class one class another class and maybe this week or next week and um, this page this uh, booklet electricity booklet we have the play electricity booklet and we have to do question number six page six question six page six you try to do the question whatever you can answer you can answer okay question uh, six page 6 question 6 page 6 okay and uh, we're going to see again i uh, see you again on the coming class we're going to see that this question and beside that that we are going to learn about uh, we're going to learn about um, calculation electrical uh, power consumption or we call it uh, cost of electricity with that we're going to finish this form, uh, this topic with that we're going to finish this topic okay thank you very much